Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aries. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Aries with a clear, concise message from you. So Aries, we'll start with a quote. And the quote goes, like the people who like you, it's much easier, Aries, to chase validation, chase someone's affection is toxic. And um, you don't want to be involved in that. So like the people who like you, um, it's so much easier. Uh, so that's what we have. And the channel message that I was getting for you, that I got for you, is um, God loves you. I don't know where it came from, but we do have the God card coming up um, here in, with the distant horizons. Um, talks about getting uh, more spiritually sound, more, um, you know, practicing your spirituality, finding spirituality and religion. So um, it talks about your hopes, wishes, and dreams. Um, they could now, now they're based, grounded, and rooted in... Um, your spirituality too they're not apart from your spirituality so I don't know that's what I got some of you feel like you're in some relationship that is restricting um, you feel like you're with somebody who's clingy um, domineering yeah, dominating and domineering and bossy and they want to just hold you down and hold you back some of you may even feel like you're in a toxic stuck situation but it looks like you're gonna choose to stay there and work it out and work on it it says that this relationship needs a lot of work okay because um you and your person have done something over and over again the energy is paralyzing you um it, it's to the point where you just feel like I can't do anything I don't know how to get out of it. I'm not even, I don't know. You're waiting for the cavalry to come and rescue you. Some of you feel like you are in prison. Some of you are in actual prison. You're waiting for a release date. That's for another set of you. Some of you just feel stuck and tied and bound to this person. And you're trying to stay in it, forgive, deal with your person with compassion. Um, you're trying to curb all of your temptation because maybe it was you or it could be the other person who was tempted to go outside of the connection but now yes someone was tempted in the past and maybe somebody went outside of the connection Somebody wants to do something with you. You want to do something with somebody else. And it could be somebody outside of your connection. But you're, but you're also holding back. Somebody is tempted to, tempted to touch. Tempted to reach out to a person that's outside of their family and home unit. And it could just be sexual in nature. Somebody just wants an opportunity, a night, a night or two, to act single, to do whatever it is they want to do, to have a fling, to put themselves first. Somebody wants the connection with you, Aries, but they also want to be single. You know, they want to keep options open or date other people or date around. Some of you, your job, you're feeling stuck and tied in this job. It says, if you have an idea, take the next step now. If you have an idea towards self-employment, take the next step now. Do what you need to do in order to get to a place of um, having some uh, groundwork laid in doing your self-employment and starting your business. Right now, you're going to have to... Um, yeah, you're going to have 
So you have the idea, you're going to have to do two things at the same time. So you, have, you might have to work your job and work the side hustle. But it's going to get to a place of stability, okay, um, where it's going to be kind of like self-sustaining, where it's not going to be the rat race or, or you know, you putting your energy time into two ways of earning income. Um, You'll be putting your energy, your time into something that uh, is best suited for your gifts and your talent. And, you, and that God source there with that third pentacle will help you function and help things flow. And that's why it will be self-sustaining. So for some of you, that's, that's the message there too. Know that you're stronger than you actually know. Maybe your adult children can offer assistance in some way. I don't know. Memories keep you tied to a situation, but they want you to be true to you. If you want to be single, if you want a new job, welcome the new in your life. Some of you need to grow up. Um, it's a level of maturity. Some of you, you need to um, get some beauty regimen. Or get a makeover or do something of that nature. Some of you definitely want to get out of a connection or you're dealing with somebody who wants to get out of a connection. And they want to come, maybe come towards you. It could just be sexual in nature. I don't know. This person wants to just have a fling or this talks about spring and summertime. Somebody trying to tame themselves to not do that, to not go backwards. And they're trying to do that with spirituality. Um, and being, being, I don't know, like being on lockdown, being stuck. Somebody's got somebody definitely on lockdown. Um, somebody's expecting a message from somebody that is, they're estranged from, but they used to be friends with. This person... They don't want anything serious with you. Again, the, 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 the question of something that they want from you is um, it could be intangible. Once again, sex is coming up. They can just want your, your essence, your aura, your, your time, your energy. They can send you a nice message because they're thinking about you. Um, maybe they're going to tell you that they're arriving in your state or your city. They might even buy you something nice and put you up on that pedestal. But their heart and their mind is focused towards things that they want in their life, their work, their effort. They love the connection and they want it back. If, if you are estranged from someone, they want you to treat them with truth, compassion, and forgiveness. This could be you, Aries. It could be the other person. Somebody's hoping and wishing for the opportunity to see you again. That, that song is actually playing Babyface. When can I see you again? Um, this is your reading, Aries. If it resonates for you, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.